Hello everyone. Welcome to the first YouTube class of computer application on behalf of Southern School affiliated to CISC New Delhi. Namaskar, myself Tanmay Pal, an assistant teacher of computer science in Southern School. So today I am going to discuss about how can a single dimensional array be shorted in descending order using the technique of bubble short. So today our lesson is to short an array using the technique of bubble short in descending order. This lesson is divided into five parts. First will be obviously the definition of bubble short. Next you will be told why is, is it termed as bubble short. Next I will explain the logic and next one that is the point number four the implementation of the logic in program means it is very important to understand the relation between the logic and the implementation of the logic in program if you do not understand this one properly then it will not be possible for you to execute the program and the fifth one is the execution of the program in bluej environment so let's start it So what is the definition of bubble short? Bubble short is the simplest shorting algorithm to arrange the elements of an array either in descending or ascending order. It works by the principle of swapping the two consecutive elements which are in wrong order. That means they are in imperfect order. In this special shorting technique, the elements of an array tend to move up in correct order or perfect order like bubbles rising to the surface. This is the reason why this special shorting technique is termed as bubble short. Okay, so let's move into our next lesson. That is the explanation of the logic. So as you can see that I have taken an array A and it consists of five elements that is 3, 7, 11, 19 and 20. And this is the diagrammatic representation of the array. As you know the index starts from zero in case of array. So as there are total five elements so the last index will be always total number of elements minus 1 that is 4 so we have to sort the array in descending order so what is the principle of uh, shorting the array in descending order yeah the largest element will be placed at first and the smallest element will be placed at the end so you can see that in that array that I have taken the first element is 3 and that is not the largest element and the last element is 20 which is not the smallest element so this array is unsorted so we have to short the array in descending order so let's do it so I'm conducting the first pass you can see in every part of first pass we will compare every two consecutive elements so at first we will compare the pair 0 1 means the element that is positioned at 0 and the element that is positioned at 1 they will be compared and if the first element is smaller then they will be exchanged so you can three uh, you can see that three and seven here three is smaller than seven so they will be exchanged okay so let's draw the resultant array there are five blocks 0, 1, 2, 3, 
and 4 so 7 will be here and 3 here and rest of the elements as it is so now we will compare the next two consecutive elements that is 1 and 2 so I am writing here 1 comma 2 so 1 comma 2 in case of position index 1 index number 1 you can see 3 and index number 2 it is 11 so 3 and 11 again they are not in perfect order so they will be exchanged so let's draw the resultant array again there are five blocks 0 1 2 3 and then 4 so elements 7 11 will be here 3 then 19 then 20 so we will focus to the next consecutive elements that is 2 comma 3 so again you can see that 3 and 19 3 is smaller than 19 so they will be swapped so now draw the resultant array five blocks 0 1 2 3 and 4 7 11 19 and 3 exchanged so 19 here and 3 here and that is 20 so next consecutive element that is 3 and 4 we will check so let's see it 3 and 4 you can see 3 is smaller than 20 so they will be exchanged let's draw the resultant array again 0 1 2 3 and 4 7 11 19 here will be 20 and this one is 3 so this is the end of the first pass why I am telling the this is the end of the first pass because there are no other comparison left and you can see that the array is not actually shorted because 7 is not the largest element but one noticeable thing is that we have got the smallest element and this is fixed so I am marking it so after the end of the first pass we have got the smallest element now let's move to the second pass So after the end of the first pass, this was the face of the array 7, 11, 19, 20 and 3. You can see that 3 is fixed. So again we will start the process. As uh, the array is shorted from the left hand side, uh, sorry this is unsorted from the left hand side. So we will start the process from the left hand side again. That means uh, with the pair 0 and 1. So I am writing here 0 and 1. So you can see 7 is smaller than 11. So they will be exchanged. Now let us draw the resultant array again. Five blocks 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 11 here, 7, and then 19, then 20, and then 3, and 3 is fixed. So next consecutive element is 1 and 2. So let's say it 1 and 2. You can see 7 is smaller than uh, 19. So they will be swapped 7, 
will go to index number 2 and 19 will go to index number 1. So let's draw the resultant array again. There are 5 blocks 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 11, 19 will be here, then 7, then 20, and then 3. So the next pair we will also check that is 2 and 3. You can see 2 and 3 and uh, 7 is smaller than 20 so they will be exchanged so 20 will go to index number 2 and 7 will go to index number 3 so let's draw the resultant array Eleven, nineteen, twenty will be here, and then seven, and then three. So here we will not uh, check uh, the element that is index number three and the element that is index number four. I will not compare between them because three is already fixed. So this is the end of the second pass, and after the end of the second pass we have got the second smallest element you can see that second smallest element so we will move towards our third class so this is the array we have got after the end of the third pass you can also tell this is the resultant array after the end of the third pass so we will start the process again from index number 0 and 1 so I am writing the index that is not written 0 1 2 3 and 4 5 elements so let's check so 0 and 1 at first we will compare so you can see 11 and 19 so they are not in perfect order so they will be swapped so 19 19 will uh, go to index number 0 and 11 will go to index number 1 so let's draw the resultant array. Zero, one, two, three, and four. So nineteen here, eleven here, twenty, seven, and three. Seven and three are fixed. Okay. So we will focus to the next consecutive element that is 1 and 2 at index 1 and 2 and uh, let's see it 1 and 2 11 and 20 so you can see 11 is smaller than 20 so they will be exchanged so let's draw the resultant array zero one two three four there are five blocks so let's put the elements 11 20 will be here and 11 here 7 and 3 3 and 7 fixed so you can see 11 is also fixed and no other comparison left here uh, in the third pass so after the end of the third pass we have got the third smallest element now let's move to the fourth pass this is the resultant array that we got after the end of the third pass so you can see that only one uh, only one pair of elements uh, is left that is 19 and 20 and uh, 0 and 1 which are positioned at 0 and 1 respectively so I am marking this 0 and 1 
So you can see that 19 is smaller than 20, so they will be swapped. So let's draw the resultant array. There are five blocks, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 20 will be here, 19 then 11, then 7, then 3. And you can see there are no other comparison left. So 3, 7, 11 were already fixed just before the start of the fourth pass and 19 and 20 they are also fixed as well after the end of the fourth pass. So the total process is now completed. So our next question is the implementation of the logic in Java program. So here I have written that how many comparisons are conducted in each of those passes. So here first pass four comparisons, second pass three comparison, third pass two comparisons, fourth pass only one comparison. So let's verify it. Here this is the first pass and you can see that 1, 2, 3 and this is 4. So 4 comparison were performed in the first pass as well as 4 swapping. This is the second pass and you can see that there are 3 comparison 1, 2 and 3. This is the third pass and you can see there are two comparisons one and then two and this is the fourth pass that is the last pass of our logic and you can see that only one comparison so the total number of passes is four and the total number of comparisons or swapping if possible that is actually varying after each iteration after each pass so at first four passes you can see uh, four comparison in first pass three comparison in second pass two comparison in third pass and only one comparison in fourth pass so the number of comparisons are actually uh, getting decremented by one after each pass so here uh, we need to know about the total number of elements contained in that array so if you if you don't know the total number of elements contained in an array in case of uh, the elements entered by the user this is the statement take a variable of int type int n equals to and then put the statement a dot length this is the java statement to determine how many elements are contained in the array and that should be stored in a variable n so this statement will give you n equals to 5 because according to our example we have uh, taken 5 elements for that array so now let's write the code so as I have already told that the outer loop will control the total number of passes so let's take a loop control variable that is i i equals to 0 0 is the initial value for i and i less than n minus 1 and then i plus plus why it is i less than n minus 1 let's analyze you need total four passes that is one two three four so total four passes so the initial value of i is zero and i less than if i put here five then 
i is getting the last value as 4 so 0 to 4 there are 5 comparisons so it is not possible so let's put 5 minus 1 so that means i is less than 4 that means the last value of i will be 3 so 0 to 3 you will get 4 values so i will get the value 0 then 1 then 2 and then 3 so total number of execution of the outer loop will be 4 times so i equals to 0 i less than n minus 1 i plus plus now write the code for the nested loop for j equals to 0 now j less than what i will put here in the condition so let's analyze again during the first pass the value of i is 0 and you need the total number of comparison is 4 so the inner loop should run 4 times so I am writing here j less than 5 minus 1 minus i that means j less than 5 minus 1 minus 0 because the value of i is 0 now that means j less than 4 so you are getting the last value of j as 3 so the start value of j is 0 and you are getting the last value of j as 3 so you are getting the value of j as 0 1 2 and 3 so obviously the inner loop will run 4 times that means total 4 comparison will be performed Similarly, for the second pass, the value of i is 1. So, I am writing here j less than 5 minus 1 minus 1. So, j less than 5 minus 2. That means j less than 3. So, you are getting the end value of j as 2 and the start value of j as 0. So, you are getting 0, 1 and 2 three values that means the inner loop will run three times so three comparison will be performed so this will continue in this way so let's get back to the code so it will be j less than n minus 1 minus i and here j plus plus so it is also a forward loop so i have to put condition here for the swapping so if a of j and here a of j plus 1 so this is the this is two consecutive elements a of j and a of j plus 1 so the condition we have to put a condition which one will be satisfied and then only the swapping will be performed so what is the condition if a of j is smaller than a of j plus 1 means the first element if the first element is smaller than the second one then only the swapping will be performed means they will be exchange with each other so now we have to write the code for the swapping inside this if segment so you already know that there are uh, two ways of swapping two elements one using uh, third variable and another one without using third variable so i am using uh, the third variable for swapping so i am taking one temporary variable that is t so t equals to a of j then a of j equals to a of j plus 1 and then a of j plus 1 equals to t so that is the code for swapping and then the if is now the scope of if is now closed and then we are closing the scope of the nested for and then we are closing the scope of the outer for so that is the code segment for the shorting operation using the technique of uh, bubble short in descending order so here what are the variables that are used we can see one is i 
another one is j both are loop control variable and here this is t and another one is n which is used for the purpose of storing the length of the array two important things that you can easily determine from this logic that is number one total number of passes and second one is the total number of comparisons or maximum number of swappings overall so the passes are performed by the outer loop and the comparisons or swappings are performed by the inner loop so the first one is obviously the total number of executions of the outer loop and the second one is the total number of executions of the inner loop and it is very easy to determine let's see it we have taken four elements sorry five elements and in case of five elements only four pass is needed so if the total number of element is n then the total number of passes is needed n minus 1 so let's take an example if the total number of element elements is 10 then the total number of passes will be 10 minus 1 that is 9 so the total number of executions for the outer loop is 9 so question number 1 uh, that is total number of passes is solved now the question number 2 what will be the total number of comparisons or the maximum number of swappings overall so here you can see in the first pass 4 in the second pass 3 comparison third pass 2 comparison and fourth pass 1 comparison is performed so uh, it is ending at 1 and it is starting from the total number of elements minus 1 so if the total number of element is 10 so in first pass we will get 9 comparison in the second pass we will get 8 comparison in the third pass we will get 7 comparison in that way it will go up to 1 so we have to add all the natural numbers starting from 9 and ending at 1 or also you can say 1 to 9 the addition of all the natural numbers from 1 to 9 this is equals to 9 into the formula is 9 into 9 plus 1 divided by 2 that is 9 into 10 by 2 that is 9 into 5 equals to 45 so the total number of comparison or maximum swapping overall will be 45 so let's execute the program so this is the bubble shot program I am opening it so let's maximize it so you can see that this is the bubble shot program public class bubble shot with the name bubble shot I have written and then the main function and inside the main function at first the variables are declared so int a and the same elements are directly initialized to the array a you can see 3 7 11 19 20 these elements are unshorted so next I have declared a variable in 10 equals to 0 because this is the output variable which is used to determine the length of the array and then the loop control variable for outer loop i and the loop control variable for inner loop j has been declared and then t is also declared and it has been initialized with the value 0 and then the um, length has been determined n equals to a dot length and then the technique of the technique of bubble shot has been used the same logic as you can see that I have explained earlier so after applying this logic this code segment has been used to display the resultant array 
means the final array. So system dot out dot return, I have given one statement that is the array after sorting in descending order, and then one blank print and statement blank print and statement, and then the code for displaying the elements of the array, means the sorted array. System dot out dot print, a of i plus space. So let's compile it. So you can see class compiled, no syntax error. So now you are allowed to execute. So close this one and run it. So you can see the array after sorting in descending order is this. 20191173 so that's all for now hopefully we will be benefited from this class and yep please take all the precautions and cooperate with the government to avoid the danger of covid-19 stay safe and healthy bye bye